Hello. It's Wednesday afternoon, and I'm on the east end of the Buckthorn Alley, uh, looking at a wetland that we opened up. And I was walking through here, and I had to stop and go back and do it again and capture it for you because I'm, I'm really uh, excited about how it, how this project is turning out. And what I'm going to be doing now is walking on the east, in the east direction, on the uh, north loop. And to, to my right here, where I'm looking, there's the cutoff trail. And beyond that, in the open, it's hard to see, but there's an opening back there. See the line of grass? That's the Scuppernong River. So, what we've done in the last few weeks is open up the view from this trail across the woodland, across the cutoff trail, and you can actually see the the open the open valley of the Scuppernong River in the distance there. So let's let's take a look. It's uh it's really it was so impressive. I had I had to turn around and and do it again and put the camera on. So uh, humor me and indulge me and we'll take a walk down the Buckthorn Alley together. This is the boardwalk that Ben and I recently lifted up, and um, I can't thank Ben enough. It's beautiful. And uh, today, let's see, there's a beautiful oak tree there. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Okay. But uh, today I, I got my chainsaw out and the, uh, the chain bar oiler is working properly. And that's... <laughs> so I was really uh, excited to cut with my properly working saw. So I think I must have emptied seven tankfuls and I cut right in this area. I'm trying to open up the last view, the last blockage I should say, between the north trail and the cutoff trail. There's, an, there's a little, obviously an enclosed area of woodland between those two trails and that's what I'm trying to open up now so that you can see across south from the North Loop Trail across the wetlands, I mean across the woodlands, excuse me, toward the river. That's what we're, we're trying to accomplish here. So today was a fantastic day. Oh, I gotta, I gotta show you this over here. We open up the views. There's a wetland in here. I think this might have been one of the old cranberry bogs. And, uh, I cut a few uh, uh, buckthorn and some other trees to open up this view and I think it looks a lot better and I did cut a few trees here too today along the trail on the left and then on the right side I did it that's where I spent the majority of the day on the right side here and uh, it was uh, it was a pleasure that's all I can say to open up this land and uh, show it off. And I, I'm just, and this is the first time I've seen it since I cut it. And it's, let's see if we can get a good look at it. Those are nice, big, huge trees, white oaks, red oaks, 
probably some black oaks. I w um, someone that was here last week said there were pin oaks out here as well. And I'm gonna have to learn how to how to discriminate, uh, distinguish the pin oak from the, the red oak or the white oak, or the swamp oak for that matter. But uh, this is what I did today. I, I cleared a whole chunk of buckthorn here that was that was between the North Loop Trail and the Cutoff Trail, and there's just one patch of it right there that, that I'm going to cut tomorrow. So, um, it couldn't have been nicer. It was raining a little bit, a little drizzly, but uh, nothing to, to complain about. So, thank you for following the Scupper Long Springs Nature Trail blog.